Well, in Leeds, we're lucky to have a cardiovascular research department, or what's known as a multidisciplinary cardiovascular research center. And that brings together a whole range of scientists working in different disciplines. It also brings together the doctors working at Leeds Teaching Hospitals Trust. We've got a very large teaching hospital that serves the whole population of West Yorkshire and beyond. We see a lot of patients with cardiovascular disease and diabetes. That provides us with a unique opportunity to forge together both clinical doctors caring for patients and scientists working and looking at cures for diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Diabetes and obesity inevitably lead to cardiovascular disease, so we're seeing huge numbers of young people with diabetes and obesity having heart attacks. Whilst we've got good treatments for heart attacks, they don't work as well in patients with diabetes. It's a big problem that we're trying to deal with to ultimately cure diabetes and the cardiovascular complications of diabetes. That's our project, you know, it's a big aim, a big goal, but that's what we want to achieve. Research is not just molecules and cells, it's delivering care. If you can improve how you deliver current therapies to patients, it can have an impact. And all the time we learn from our students, we learn from our patients, and we use that to drive this process. I'm really interested in looking at why diabetes drives people to get heart disease and strokes. And we're doing research both in patients and people who may be susceptible to diabetes and heart disease, but also here in the laboratory looking at cells and tissues and actually seeing at the molecular level what's driving the heart disease and the vascular disease to develop. And every human can repair their body and repair damaged blood vessels and we've shown that, that patients with diabetes can't repair their blood vessels very well. By changing the way some of the cells behave in patients with diabetes we can almost restore them back to normal. Most patients with diabetes have a condition called insulin resistance. Their body doesn't respond to the insulin that they produce. And that has impact on regulating blood sugar levels but it's also having a major effect on blood vessels and we've shown from some of my work that insulin resistance is a major driver for blood vessels to become unhealthy and dysfunctional. The other thing we've looked at is proteins within the body that can improve blood vessel function. One particular group of proteins called the insulin-like growth factor binding proteins can be protective in people so they can reduce the likelihood of getting diabetes. What I'm doing is looking to see whether we can exploit these proteins. So it may be that by increasing the levels of binding proteins or in fact using them as a treatment, we can prevent the development of diabetes and help blood vessels to heal themselves. Once we've developed targets that could be approached or developed, then we can look at taking that back into humans in early clinical trials. The basic discoveries here are very important in terms of developing new avenues to work on. The process of discovery in a laboratory like this to developing a new treatment can take decades of work. We do rely largely on support from medical charities to support our work. So charities such as the British Heart Foundation who actually fund me and most of my group. It comes from research councils such as the MRC. But this is a very competitive process. Leeds is just one university here out of more than 20 in the Russell Group. So we are competing for a, a smaller pot all the time. So this is a constant process of grant applications and an open competition. We're not short of ideas, so we have plenty of ideas that we could take forward very quickly. Other funding streams such as from alumni support could open up avenues for us to fund young researchers and PhD students to undertake really cutting-edge projects and really get to the results before we will be able to with conventional funding streams. We've got some really talented people and are very proud of the fact that not only do we discover things in the lab but we translate that into patients and their families.